What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys another competitive 2v2 gameplay. It's from the same match as the last video. This is the second map, so I hope you guys enjoy that in the background. And today we are going to be talking about how to identify your weaknesses. This was requested by subscribers, so I thought I'd go ahead and do that. And at first glance or first thought, you might think this is kind of an unnecessary video and I at first I would have agreed with you but when you really think about it the general mindset of the COD community is always like I'm the best I don't need to improve I'm the best I'm better than you and with that kind of mindset we tend to glance over a lot of our weaknesses so I thought I'd go ahead and put this out here and let me know what you guys think so the first thing is you need to be able to evaluate yourself and so I've actually put together a kind of chart of sorts, and it's going to be in the description below, so check that out, of a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of categories that you can rate yourself on. And basically the, title, the, the subtitles are going to be Communication, Map Awareness, Critical Thinking, Gun Skill, and a Miscellaneous section. And in each section there's going to be multiple little category type things that you can rate yourself on. And I want you guys to be completely honest if you actually do this, you know, just be completely honest with yourself. You don't need to show your teammates, you don't need to show anybody else, it's all for you. And depending on your current level that you think, compare your, like, rate it as if you were comparing yourself to a pro, if you're more advanced, or to somebody like, you could compare yourself to me if you're uh, more of a beginner, or something of that sort. And just kind of be honest with your ratings, and you can just kind of add them up if you want to, and you're just going to put it on like a 1 to 5 scale or a 1 to 10 scale, whatever you want to do with it. And yeah, so check that out. And so the mindset you need when you do the self-evaluation, I was kind of talking about it, was you need to be very, very honest with yourself. This isn't for anybody else, it's just for you, because... Being able to kind of see the numbers, at least for me, it really helps me see what I need to zero in on and work on, and I think it will help you guys as well. So, next thing is to compare your games to pros slash your teammates, you know, depending on what sort of level you're at, and basically what you're trying to do here is, you know, perhaps... If you, pl for example, I'm here playing a, a freight S and D game, so I could watch my gameplay and then go find a pro that plays similarly to me. So maybe Clayster, because he's an AR player, and I could watch a freight S and D game from him and see how we're differing. And then if I see something that could be a weakness in my gameplay because I saw it in Clayster's video, then you know I've got another weakness pointed out. Um, and of course, you can do that with your own teammates as well, like I was saying. Next thing is taking note of teams that beat you and why. So this is kind of important. I know a lot of times we like to blame losses on lag or internet or something like that. And of course, if that really is the case, you know, there's nothing you could really do about it. But look at why you lost if it wasn't internet related. So if they used a curveball strategy that just threw you off or if you guys weren't communicating well or... Um, they had a shotgun and you guys weren't running a shotgun and it was just working out. You know, things like that can, just taking note of them can really help you kind of look and see where your weaknesses are. Or in a respawn game mode, you know, if they're pushing down one side the entire game and you realize that afterwards, well, you know, you need to kind of watch that side better next time. Next thing is have a coach, a teammate, a friend, whatever, watch some of your gameplays or watch you play and have them point out after each game what they thought you did wrong. That is a really, really good way of finding your weaknesses because other people tend to be more honest than we are towards ourselves. So that can really, really help. Although a lot of times, you know, nobody wants to take the time to do that. There's not as many coaches now either because, you know, it, they don't allow it at MLG anymore. So, you know, you can still get a coach. But uh, if that doesn't work, you can actually have a pro coach you for an hour or so. And um, I didn't know about this for a while, but there are actually some pros that will charge you, I don't know, 20 to 40 bucks an hour to kind of coach you individually or your team and help you work through some of your weaknesses and what you can do to improve. So if you're interested in that, I'd look it up. I believe, I, I don't quote me, I think there was some people on phase a while back that did it i don't know if they're still doing it or not i'm sorry you might have to just 
kind of research it real quick, but that's always an option, guys. And so, yeah, those are basically the ways to identify your weaknesses. Other than that, just kind of use common sense and look at your gameplays yourself. You know, just be honest with yourself. That's really the best way to do it. So, um, last thing here, if you guys want me to do a video on how to improve on your weaknesses in like I could do it on each of the categories or whatnot just kind of put that in the comments below and I'll get to it as quick as possible so as you guys can see we're coming to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please like comment and or subscribe if you didn't then let me know what I can do better next time constructive criticism goes a long way guys until next time everybody peace out